guys what is up it's your girl Shanice welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here I would love for you guys to join the gang join the fam and hit that subscribe button down below and by the way happy Monday welcome to another weekly vlog so currently there's like 30 minutes left until the stock market closes so yeah that's what I'm currently doing right now um, so it is about 12 30 and usually the entire morning from like 6 15 um the market opens at 6 30 over here pst so by 6 15 i'm like getting my shit together because <laughs> i should actually wake up earlier but i just it's it's too early for me so 6 15 i'm in the, i'm in my bed i have the stock market open and i'm ready to go because that's where a lot of people make their trades like in the first you know hour or half an hour of the day you get it in you close out and then you're good for the day but because I'm still learning and stuff, I'm pretty much in the stock market all day until it closes. So that's my life right now. I'm really excited about um, Prague. So um, they alerted in the group, in the Wealth Squad group, that um, to get into Prague, like it looked like a really good trade on stockmarket.com. I do have a membership for that. And let me show you guys. Prague. So this is the chart for Prague. I got in around 93 cents um, and I think I have about 6,000 shares. I ended up selling one third of my shares though, so I have 4,000 now. Um, so I got it at 93 cents. It's currently reaching $2, which it did reach $2 last week and that's when I sold my one third. So currently it's at 198. There's so much room to go. You can see it's pretty much at the very bottom. Um, I got in around over here, but we're still, there's so many price targets to meet. Like, look at that. It definitely has the potential to go to like $7. Our price target though, however, is $350. So once it reaches $350, I'll probably sell most of it and then hold a few. But I hope y'all can see this. But yeah, there's so much potential for this to keep going. So currently today from Prague, I made $2,440. As you can see, I'm down here on this call. I should have got in, but Spy wanted to be crazy and it just started dumping. Um, so anyways, I'm up that much right now um, as a day's gain. Yeah, but overall, I'm up 90% or maybe even a little over that. So I have like a total gain so far of like 3,000 something. And like I told you, I already sold a lot of my shares um, beforehand when it reached. Let's go, bro! Okay, keeps going, it's going, it's going, it's going. Gain, this is my total gain for Prague. And like I told you guys earlier, I did already sell some shares, so I already made profit off of it. But... Yo, I'm up 107%. That's 100% gain. That's crazy. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to check in with you guys later because things go fast. Yeah, okay, so this just keeps running. As you can see, it's at 3,125. And this is only a day's gain. So if you are not in the stock market or in crypto, please get in while you can. There's so much money to be made. Anyways, y'all, the stock market is now closed and Prague is still running after hours. I ended up selling a thousand shares because if you see profit, take profit. Honestly, I learned that the hard way and I just wanted to, you know, secure some profit, some more profit just in case it dips down. It is going up still, but I have 3000 shares left. So I feel I'm okay with my decision because I got clapped too many times by not taking profit when I seen it. Even if it's $100 a day, $100 a day um, equals like 30 something thousand dollars a year. So take profit when you see it. That's a lesson I learned. So I'm just sharing that with you guys. Anyways, I'm about to go to European Wax Center. I got, uh, I got an appointment to wax my arms. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm wearing this gray set from Amazon super comfortable it's like gym attire but you can also wear it out if you want to um i thought the color would be a little bit darker it's giving me like slate bluish vibes on the website well on amazon it looked a lot darker like charcoal charcoal gray so whatever um they have some other cute colors i really want to get like the cream color next but yeah anyways i am about to head out so i will see you guys a little bit later all right guys so i just got back from the european wax center and then i went to whole foods and just picked up a few things and then i went to mail room and i got a bunch of different packages Woo! 
your girl is trying to upgrade her uh, equipment when it comes to like my travel vlogs and everything because you guys know I am going to Seychelles in less than a month so I needed to be prepared and Seychelles is just one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen so my content has to be on point has to be quality so let me just share with you guys what I got so I picked up the GoPro 10 and I actually have I believe the GoPro is it eight maybe eight or something a little bit lower than that and it has to be lower than that maybe it's the, like the six or something but anyways I thought it was time for a new GoPro because I feel like the one that I have has been through so much the quality is not the same it's not the best so I really wanted to have a more clear um, camera when it comes to like underwater footage and if I'm doing um, just like excursions and stuff where I can't necessarily bring one of my cameras so I got the GoPro 10 I cannot wait to try this out I already looked up like a billion reviews because that's what I do before I buy any electronic and it's the newest one so I was like why not do that and then I got a little memory card to go with it 128 gigs so i'm just gonna put that right into the gopro 10. um i also got another canon g7x i'm still waiting on it but <laughs> ask me why i'm getting that camera again i could tell you i probably went through mm, probably like 10 of those cameras already i have the sony zv1 so i have the sony zv1 everybody says like the sony is better than the canon g7x in my opinion i disagree i love the canon i love the quality of the canon i love that you can take photos at night and during the day um and the battery on this sony zv1 is terrible the only good thing i would say about this camera it, it does look good like the quality is good um i just don't like sony interfaces it does have a mic put which is also great but i really don't like sony interfaces i don't like the way it's set up it's just it's just a lot going on like you got to press all these buttons just to get somewhere when it's canon you just click 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 and you're there and you don't really have to do much so i got the canon and also i i personally think that the canon looks better in low lighting compared to the sony the sony just a little grainy for me so I'm gonna still keep this camera I still might bring it with me as like a backup backup camera but I just had to go back to my my tried and true Canon G7X for night footage and just for photos um, while I'm on vacation and then your girl got a drone a lot of you guys have been telling me girl you need to get a drone for your travel vlogs and it would just make them 10 times better and I was like I'm gonna say shells the drone footage over that is gonna be dope so the drone that i got is called the dj the dji dji mini 2 and i got the fly more combo which means it comes with like extra batteries i think it comes with two extra batteries and all of that and i wanted like the reason i never got a drone was because i don't want to carry all that stuff around i already carry around so many gadgets i always lose my shit because i'm carrying around so much freaking electronics and I just didn't want to do that, but I was just like, I got to do it. If I want to upgrade my quality and I want to add more to my vlogs, then I'm going to need one of these. So I got it. I'm excited to play around with it. I got to try this out before I leave because I don't want to lose it. I did get warranty though, so that if you lose it or it breaks or it falls or whatever, I can get like, um, I can get another one for basically almost free. So very very excited about this and i wanted something small so this is ultra light it's ultra small so i definitely am very excited to try this out and then i got a canon battery this is just for my canon m50 that i'm using now i feel like one of my batteries is just it's worn out or something because it'd be dying really really quick and usually on the canon m50 my batteries don't die that fast so i was like let me get another one before my trip so I got one of these and then that's all for electronics like I said I'm still waiting for my G7X Ooh. and then I ended up getting these Wolford 
um, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right, <laughs> Walford uh, leggings. I got these in an extra small. These were a pretty penny. I feel like they were almost $200, but I'm so tired of buying leggings and they just don't fit good. Like they don't suck you in at the right places. I hate leggings that just tack on lint. I'm just like, ugh, I'm looking for the perfect pair of black leggings. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that these fit well. I've heard a lot about them, so I'm excited to try them on. I'm gonna try them on now with you. I did get an extra small, so hopefully. Wait, do I take that? Okay. Yeah, hopefully they fit well. I don't know. They have a nice thick band. I got these from Saks Fifth online, I believe. That's one thing I hate about the leggings that I've been buying. I just have so many black leggings and they all suck. So I just want one pair of good ones. And if I really love these, then I can get another pair, if anything, so I can have backup. So this is what it looks like. It looks like it's gonna suck you in. I heard that they are stretchy, so I did get the extra small, but let's try them on. It smells a little funky. It smells like... This kind of smells weird, but I like it. <laughs> it's like one of those fetishes, like gasoline and tires. Oh, what does that smell like? It smells good. <laughs> okay, so these are what the leggings look like. And I have to say sizing down to an extra small was the way to go. They aren't loose, but they aren't super tight either. They're very, very comfortable. So I do like that. And uh, I love the thick band around the waist part. So it just sucks you in. I really like these. I do wish they had petite sizing just so it wasn't like so bunched up on my legs. And if you have a fat cooter, just keep in mind that it's just, you know, it's there. Like, you can't help that. Definitely fit really nice. And I think I'm gonna keep them. I need to do the lint test though. <laughs> hey y'all, what is good? So I have not vlogged in a while. Honestly, it's been a long time. Today is actually Friday. No, it's Thursday. No, it's Friday, I'm sorry. And I'm in Arizona. We're in Phoenix, Arizona for Brian's brother, Ryan's graduation. He just got his master's, woo -hoo! Um, Master's in education, I believe. So we're going to his graduation, of course. And yeah, I'm actually about to start getting ready to go. Uh, I'm very sorry that I have not been vlogging, but weekly vlogs, I don't know. There's days where I'm literally not doing anything. I'm in the house. And to me, those vlogs are boring, so I don't vlog that much. So forgive me, I'm out of breath right now. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to get ready. We came in last night on Thursday. I have my makeup on, I just have to do my lip. But yeah, I'm about to put on my dress and then we are going to head out. Dang! Shut up. Here this is Sarah Michelle Lee Kwan. Catherine Elizabeth Fox. Ronnie McWilliam. Caitlin Dornick. Allison Sorrenti. Tanner Smith. Gina Marie Delgado Hayes. Ryan Carrington. Woo! Kendall Tucker. Juliana Kara Leanne Martinez. Singleton. Jones. Moving to the left side of your cap. You did it! people I got a special uh, how do I say this I got a special guest who wants really to say good. hello to you guys hey, Ma. 
mommy. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Girl, y'all missed my birthday party. Y'all just don't know he dropped out. It went down all the way. All the way. We it should've... went all the way down. <laughs> Ale out. Alexander throw down. It was throw down. What was the theme for your for your birthday party? What was the special occasion? She ready. She ready. She ready. What that mean? She ready at 65, and y'all, I got my red, white, blue card, and it ain't worth a damn. Because <laughs> I got to pay $149, worked all these damn years, and I still got to pay for some damn insurance. Wow. It, it come out $149 a month? Yeah. Let me go to my handicap spot, y'all. I'll holler at y'all. <laughs> we'll see y'all at, we'll see y'all We'll see y'all at dinner today. I'll let you, mama. I'll see y'all <laughs> <laughs> Stormy got her period. She's in heat right now. She got to wear diapers. You literally have to stop at Petco and get them. I haven't seen it this bad before. I've seen her spot, but I wasn't even sure if it was her or not. I've seen like blood spots randomly, but this is like wild. And she's been being a crybaby. So she turned one not too long ago, and now she got her period. Is that right, Stormy? Hold on, you need even cheers, you sipping on your I'm drink. sorry, it's good. delicious. It's so good. All right, y'all, me and Alexandria, we came downstairs to the bar because, you know, we just wanted to drink and these guys are sleeping. So, to sleep on it. Yeah, they went to sleep, so I'm like, let's go to the bar. <laughs> and she was like, okay, let's get some drinks in before we go to dinner. Exactly. This make dinner that much better. Exactly. This is the celebration station. It looks so good. Starbucks makeup makes a little Cheers. Like, I just can't find it. Yeah, I really like this. And usually I don't even though usually I don't like sweet drinks, but this isn't like making my tummy good. <laughs> and I honestly think it's like the bubbly the prosecco. Round two, y'all. Round two. This time I got a lemon drop. And I'm just trying to keep up the shinny set. Wait, you're the one who, she's the one who asked for the drink. She's like, can I get another one? <laughs> we have a whole hour. So and then I was like, okay, fine. But what are you gonna drink at the at restaurant? I think there's like this strawberry drink that they have and I really want that. It's really good. I think I'm gonna do wine there. I want because I want, I need like a red meat. I mean, I'm having red meat, so I need like a wine. You need a red meat? <laughs> <laughs> you need a red meat? That sounds off. Okay. <laughs> We're at day 48, y'all, to celebrate Ryan's graduation. Oh, you wearing a hat too. It's so cute. Very handsome, Jojo. What's up, y'all? So we at the basement in the, in Phoenix, you know, tapping wow. in with my guy Will, man. What's going on, King? So we live from the basement, AZ, man. Brian pulled up with the family, so I really want y'all to get tapped in and see what we're doing here, man. We got a couple brands, of course, real is rare. It's not just a brand, it's a fact, but had to get it out here to AZ from St. Louis. And yes, sir. A lot of people tapping in, but we also have our alkaline activated juice bar, and so what we do, with the alkaline lifestyle is keep it organic, keep it natural. So you don't want to put no extra processed sugar in your drinks, no preservatives, none of them chemicals, <laughs> nada. We just got pure organic fruit, 
Um, we use coconut milk for our lattes. We have elderberry teas, limeades, and then of course we got our strawberry mango smoothies and wildberry mm. smoothies. Mm. Blessing, fire. So I'm a. I had the strawberry mango yesterday. It was. Sheesh. <laughs> No doubt. So I'm gonna get y'all tapped in with everything that we got to offer. So this whole space here, uh, we do yoga classes. We set up for nature experiences too. So we'll go hiking out in the mountains and to waterfalls and things like that. So it's it's a full vibe that we curating. And like so what part of what part of Phoenix can we come check you out on? So we in downtown Tempe. So like right in the mix of everything. So we right by ASU. Yeah, right by ASU, Tempe uh, Town Lake. So. It's, it's in the middle of the whole valley, west side, east side, all comes out there. I bet. Hey. Okay. Who's, who's first? Brian, the man. <laughs> man, what's this? These are the strawberry mango smoothies. I gotta get the reaction. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get the reaction. Don't get my reaction. Come on, G. <laughs> well, like, I'm gonna be picked. I can't drink like dairy. Man, I used to be able to drink dairy. Like one day, my stomach just said no. Mm -hmm. So I. Had to, <laughs> had to, had to yeah. There's no sugar in this shit? <laughs> it's good. It's no sugar in it? Yeah, we'll put no processed sugar. It's just all organic food. These are dates in it? Well, you, see, you, got, you, got, you can taste it. Oh, there's dates. No, because I'm like, if, you don't, if it's sugary, there has to be a natural source, which is dates. Taste it, Alex. Mmm. Mm. Together, yeah, it's, it's, it's an organic fruit. So, like, we don't use alkaline fruits for our drinks. What you think? There's no sugar in this? That's how I said that. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes like one of those popsicles that you get from, like, the hood store, yeah, yeah. right? That you just want to, like, suck. Bruh, this I'm is good. You, like, this tastes like. <laughs> Every time we have them, like, people don't. This tastes like those popsicles. Like Did you taste it, babe? It's good? You like it? <laughs> it's very good. Hey y'all, what's up? So we just got home probably about 30 minutes ago. I hopped in the shower and now I'm out, but we went to Steak 44, had dinner, and then we went to some other bar, but we just weren't feeling it, so we ended up coming home. Oh yeah, y'all seen the little place that we went to earlier, the little alkaline place? Um, I don't know much about it, but he sells like alcohol, alkaline drinks and detoxes and things like that. So yeah, anyways, we are home now and I want to show you guys um, Diane, my mother-in-law's 65th birthday. She brought like these little books with her that captured all the moments and stuff because me and Brian couldn't be there because he had to work. But I want to show you guys that. So I thought it was very cute. She gave us the books because we were able to make it so I'm like I'm gonna keep this for memory's sake and just like store it somewhere but they were really cute and she looks so nice so I'm gonna show you guys that right now she made these books she got her makeup done she looks so good like she got her makeup professionally done she got her outfit ready daughter-in-law Alexandria like look at her makeup looks so good she looks flawless 65 wear where <laughs> but yeah so these are some of the photos that she printed out and she was crying because she was surprised it was a surprise birthday party which i thought was so sweet her outfit miss diane her mother-in-law very cute ryan his her son ryan and jojo both of her sons alexandria Jojo, it's so cute, and so many people showed up. This is Miss Cynthia, y'all remember Miss Cynthia from my moving vlogs? I'm not sure who a lot of the other people are to be honest, but I just love that everybody showed up for her because she always shows up in the Acres Town community, so yeah, and she knows a lot of people to be honest. She knows a lot of people, she has a lot of family members, so this is really cute. This is her sister. I'm like, when I asked her, I'm like, who is that? And she's like, my sister. I'm like, yeah, you guys look alike a lot. 
They have like similar features. So cute. There's another book. I'll just flip through it really quickly. Do you think she looks like Brian? <laughs> so yeah, she had a really nice 65th birthday and I wish we could have been there but these are definitely something that I'm going to keep for memory's sake and always look back on and pretend like I was there <laughs> I feel like I'm missing out on so much this year um, but I guess this is just what it is for now this is the season of my life missing out on certain things but being blessed with bigger things but yeah I feel like this is the season of me missing out on a lot of things but god is just blessing me with bigger things and things that i don't even see right now is before me so it is what it is but i'm very grateful for my life but yeah i just wanted to show you guys that because y'all love mom so i kind of wanted to you know bring you into her 65th birthday so yeah i'm actually about to go to bed i'm absolutely tired so i will see you guys all tomorrow good night good morning y'all Today is our last day here in Phoenix. It's Saturday today. We, all, we were only here since Thursday night. So yeah, I'm actually about to go out to breakfast with my mother-in-law and Alexandria. You know, her two daughter-in-laws, the, the guys, Brian and Ryan, they went to one of their friends' house to watch the football game, which I'm watching right now. I'm watching the Texas game. So yeah, I just did my skincare and I'm just rolling this quartz thing, whatever it is, on my face to just take away all of like the puffiness since it is the morning and I look hella tired. So it feels so good. Mm. I think we're gonna go to this place called Lolo's Chicken. It's black owned. Honestly, it is way too early to be eating this heavy. I don't even want to eat super heavy because like it looks like on the menu, like you know, fried chicken is their main thing. And I was like, dang, I don't want all that food right now. Anyways, I'm not wearing anything special because we gotta go to the airport pretty much right after. I'm wearing this crop top, some joggers, and then I'm gonna put on my jean jacket. And then when I get to the airport, I'm gonna put on my matching, a matching set. Pretty much what I was wearing yesterday. This, uh, these joggers from Pretty Little Thing, and then the matching Stone Town sweater. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys when we meet up. Jojo, you the best 
son I well you want <laughs> all what, the what, what, what? you in the top four. You know, yeah, because you know Byron first, then Ryan, then Giz, and then you finished it. You finished it. You the baby. You are the baby. You are the baby. I took the young child. She has you for another. You wasn't the like, young child. God just sent you to me. What's that smell? That's alcohol. <laughs> That's what your mama full of this here bullshit called champagne mimosa with blueberries. Okay? Right. And your aunties, your ancient niece, and your Aunt Alexander say, oh, get another one. <laughs> oh, well, get another one. So I got to drink this and chase this with some damn water. And we in Arizona. <laughs> and now, y'all, when I get through, I got to go find some damn Pokemon. Oh, yeah. We on a Pokemon <laughs> tour. Okay, y'all. I know y'all ain't seen me in a while. Hey. Hi. What y'all been doing? Still back to my pimping days. Oh, wait, what? Been in my pimping days. Right. We back. We back.